HK Krusik is one of the leading manufacturers in Serbia of missiles and defense weapons with a rich product portfolio, serving various military purposes. Krusik's missile products are known for their reliability, efficiency, and are widely used in both defensive and offensive combat environments. Here is an overview of the company's current missile types. 1. Anti-tank missiles Kruzik's anti-tank missiles are designed to destroy armored targets, such as tanks, armored vehicles, and fortified structures. There are two prominent types of anti-tank missiles. The first is the M79 OSA. This is an unguided anti-tank system, using a shoulder-fired launcher. Highly effective in destroying tanks and fortifications, thanks to the heat, high-explosive anti-tank warhead, it has a firing range of 400 to 600 meters, armor penetration capacity of up to 400 millimeters of homogeneous steel, raw. The second is the M90 Sturschland Hornet. This is a semi-automatic anti-tank guided missile, SACLOS, suitable for destroying mobile or fortified targets from a distance. It has a range of 2.5 to 3 kilometers, armor penetration capacity, over 600 millimeters after era explosive reactive armor two air defense missiles man pads Kruzik's air defense missile systems are designed to protect against aircraft helicopters and uavs there are two prominent types of air defense missiles the first is the mistral this is a shoulder fired infrared guided missile produced under license in cooperation with mbda france used to destroy low-flying aircraft or helicopters. It has a range of 6 kilometers. The second is the RLNIC. This is a short-range missile with an improved infrared guidance system used in fixed and mobile air defense systems. It has a range of 5 to 8 kilometers. 3. Multirole missiles Kruzik multirole missiles are capable of destroying both ground and air targets, depending on the configuration. Notable is the R-400 missile, which can be equipped on unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs or ground vehicles, with a range of 10 kilometers. 4. Unguided missiles, rockets, this type of missile is commonly used in ground and air-to-ground combat, with multiple launch systems, MLRS. There are two prominent types, 122mm Grad rockets and 128mm Playman rockets. 5. Guided missiles, this type focuses on fixed or mobile targets at long distances, often deployed from ground launchers or warships. A typical example of this missile model is the ALAS Advanced Light Attack System. This is an advanced guided missile, using electro-optical cameras to find and destroy targets, integrated in ground attack or coastal defense systems. Its range is up to 25 kilometers. The guidance system combines GPS and live video. With experience and advanced technology, Krusik products not only meet domestic defense needs, but are also the first choice for many armies around the world. Let's take a look at the missile production process at HK Krusik. Every missile product starts with an idea and specific technical requirements. Scientists and engineers work closely with customers to determine exact specifications such as range, accuracy, warhead type, and maneuverability. Simulate the missile's performance under various environmental conditions, such as temperature, pressure, and wind speed. The missile's skin is often made of lightweight but very strong alloys to ensure strength and heat resistance. The manufacturing process includes cutting, bending, welding, and surface machining. The rocket engine is the heart of the system. KRUSIK uses different types of fuel, from solid to liquid fuel, depending on the requirements of each type of missile. The engine manufacturing process includes the manufacture of the combustion chamber, nozzle, and control system. The guidance system includes sensors, computers, and other electronic devices. These components are manufactured with high precision to ensure that the missile reaches its target accurately. The type of warhead will depend on the intended use of the missile. KRUSIK produces a variety of warheads, from high explosive to penetrator warheads. 
Warheads are designed to achieve high penetration or create maximum blast wave. The explosive is compressed into the warhead by an automatic device, ensuring compression and safety. Warhead uses a heat and pressure resistant shell to protect the explosive during launch and impact. The engine is machined from high heat resistant alloy to ensure stable engine operation. Solid fuel is poured into the combustion chamber using a special casting process which optimizes thrust. The nozzle is designed to optimize thrust direction, improving the flight trajectory. Sensors such as GPS, radar, or infrared are integrated to ensure that the missile follows the target. The microprocessor is programmed to calculate the flight trajectory and adjust the direction of travel. KRUSIK uses CNC machines to machine the missile frame with high precision. The surface is coated with a protective layer against oxidation and high temperature, ensuring the missile operates stably in all conditions. The engine stages are mounted together to ensure strong thrust and precise stage separation. The warhead is connected to the electronic and mechanical system to activate when necessary. The guidance system is connected to the entire system to ensure that the missile can self-orient. All components are thoroughly tested before assembly to ensure they meet the highest quality standards. After assembly, the rocket is thoroughly tested to ensure all systems are functioning properly. The rocket engine is tested on a static launch pad to evaluate performance and reliability. The rocket is launched to test the guidance, control systems, and other flight parameters. KRUSIK has a strict quality control system to ensure that every product meets the standards. Before delivery, the rocket is thoroughly tested again to ensure that it meets all customer requirements. Advanced 3D printing technology and artificial intelligence are applied by KRUSIK to the rocket manufacturing process to optimize the design and manufacturing process. The rocket manufacturing process is a complex process that requires a combination of science, technology, and high engineering. HKKRUSIK prides itself on its ability to produce high-quality rocket products that meet the most stringent customer requirements. United Launch Alliance, ULA, is a joint venture between two American aerospace giants, Lockheed Martin and Boeing. Founded in 2006, ULA specializes in manufacturing and launching rockets for scientific, commercial, and military missions. ULA's famous rocket lines, such as Atlas V, Delta IV, and the upcoming Vulcan Centaur are highly regarded for their reliability, outstanding performance, and ability to operate in a variety of harsh environments. The rocket manufacturing process at ULA is a complex process that requires high precision and strict adherence to quality standards. Below is a detailed summary of each stage. 1. Research and design R&D determine the rocket's mission, whether it is to launch satellites, carry cargo to the International Space Station, or conduct interplanetary scientific missions. Use advanced design software to create detailed drawings, including components such as the rocket body, engine, and guidance system. Simulate aerodynamic factors, loads, temperatures, and pressures under real conditions to optimize the design. Create small models or test prototypes for each part to test and refine. 2. Material selection and processing. There are three main groups of materials. First is ultralight aluminum alloy, used to produce the rocket body, ensuring high load-bearing capacity but still maintaining lightweight. Second is carbon composite, used for parts that need to withstand large forces but require weight reduction, such as solid fuel engine casing. Finally is titanium, used for important parts, with high heat resistance and corrosion resistance. Three, processing of main parts, the rocket body is rotating friction welding, this advanced technology helps weld aluminum or composite plates with high precision without reducing material quality. 
Small parts are CNC machined to micron precision. Propulsion system uses special alloys, resistant to high temperatures and extreme pressures. Liquid fuel pump turbines are meticulously machined for maximum efficiency. Guidance system has acceleration, pressure, and temperature sensors, assembled in a clean room to ensure accuracy. Computer system designed to process data from sensors and control the engine in real time. 4. Rocket assembly. The main booster stage containing the engine and fuel is assembled first. Fuel lines and valve systems are tested to ensure no leaks. The upper stage contains the smaller engines and trajectory guidance equipment. Electronic systems are connected to ensure compatibility with the main booster stage. Locking separation mechanisms are integrated to ensure the rocket stages can separate accurately during flight. 5. Quality control and testing. The engine is mounted and fired to test thrust, fuel burn, and stability. All systems are tested under conditions that simulate real-life temperatures, pressures, and vibrations. 6. Transport and launch preparation. The rocket is transported by specialized ships to launch sites such as Cape Canaveral, Florida, or Vandenberg, California. The rocket is erected and mounted on the launch pad. The fuel and electrical systems are connected to the ground infrastructure. A series of final tests are performed to ensure all systems are working in sync. 7. Rocket Launch The rocket is loaded with liquid fuels such as LOX, liquid oxygen, and RP-1, refined kerosene. A countdown procedure checks all systems one last time before engine ignition. The main stage engine is ignited, sending the rocket off the launch pad and into orbit. With over 150 successful launches in a row, ULA is the first choice for critical missions. ULA rockets are optimized to launch payloads to a variety of orbits. Kovac Center is a defense manufacturing company based in Valjeva, Serbia, specializing in the design, production, and assembly of weapons, ammunition, and missile systems. The company is known for its ability to supply high-quality products to the Serbian military and export to many other countries. With a team of experienced engineers and scientists, Kovac Center has become an icon in the Balkan defense industry. Engineers and scientists conduct in-depth research on technical requirements, desired performance, and international standards. They then use specialized software to create detailed 3D models of the product, from which they analyze the structure, dynamics, and other factors. Determine the type of missile, surface-to-surface, air-to-air, air defense. Break down the design into components such as guidance systems, warheads, engines, and frames. Simulate the trajectory, aerodynamics, and performance in a real environment. The next step is to select materials and process. The rocket frame is made of aluminum alloy or composite to ensure durability and lightness. The engine is made of high temperature and pressure resistant materials. Finally, the guidance system and sensors and electronics are manufactured in a clean room environment. The main components include solid fuel engine uses a mixture of fuel and oxidizer poured into the combustion chamber to create stable thrust, warhead designed to ensure accurate explosion when hitting the target or according to programming, guidance system uses GPS, radar or infrared sensors for navigation. Next, the rocket is assembled by Kovac in the order of the engine stage and then the warhead. The engine stages are assembled to ensure accurate thrust and separation. The warhead is mounted and connected to the electronic system. The engine is activated under fixed conditions to test the thrust, test the trajectory and operating conditions of the rocket. The rocket is launched at the test site to evaluate performance. All Kovac Center products meet international standards and are designed to operate effectively in all harsh conditions.
Pateshi Machinery is a prominent company in the arms and ammunition manufacturing industry, headquartered in Turkey. The company specializes in designing and developing modern production lines for ammunition, this really 9 by 19 mm ammunition, which is widely used in pistols and submachine guns around the world. By applying advanced technology, Ateshi Machinery not only produces ammunition but also provides production lines and technical solutions for defense establishments. Ateshi Machinery's 9 by 19 mm ammunition production line is a complex industrial process requiring high precision and strict adherence to quality standards. Here is an overview of the main stages in this process. Bullet casing produced from copper or stainless steel sheets, then drawn into a tube shape and machined with grooves and vent holes. Bullet mark usually made of brass, cast or machined to shape. Lead wire drawn into a precise diameter to make the bullet core. Gunpowder specially formulated, smokeless, nitrocellulose based, is chosen to reduce emissions and optimize bullet velocity. Brass sheets are stamped to form the initial shape of the shell, using a draw-draw machine to shape the shell size and length. Identification information such as size, 9 by 19 millimeters, and production batch are engraved. The shell is then heat treated to increase strength and elasticity. Lead is melted and poured into a mold to form the core. The lead core is electroplated with copper to increase strength and corrosion resistance. The bullet tip is polished and checked for size to ensure uniformity. Nitrocellulose is mixed with additives to create a highly stable gunpowder. The gunpowder is cut into small granules, dried to remove excess moisture, using a sensitive explosive compound such as lead stiphnate or an environmentally friendly lead-free mixture. The chemical mixture is compressed into the standard shape to fit into the shell. The explosive charge is inserted into the base of the shell using an automatic compressor. Gunpowder is loaded into the shell using a precision automated process. The bullet is tightly pressed into the shell, ensuring a tight seal to prevent gas leakage when fired. The bullet is inspected to ensure that the bullet and the shell are concentric, reducing the risk of misalignment. Ateshi then uses a laser rangefinder to ensure that each bullet meets the standard dimensions. A number of bullets are test fired to check accuracy, muzzle velocity, and pressure levels. The bullets are packed in plastic or steel boxes, fully marked with information about the type, production batch, and inspection date. Advanced automation and robotization in production ensure high productivity and low errors. Ammunition products meet NATO standards and other international regulations. Ateshi's 9 by 19 mm bullets are designed to operate effectively with a wide range of pistols and submachine guns. Tisa's Trabzon Sila Sanayi AS, established in 1993 in Turkey, is one of the world's leading arms manufacturers especially famous for its high-quality pistols. TISA's products not only meet the needs of the military and security forces, but are also highly appreciated by civilian users around the world for their reliability, durability, and outstanding performance. After designing, engineers conduct 3D simulations to check the feasibility of the design, calculate the stress and durability of the components, a prototype is manufactured for actual testing and design adjustments, if necessary. TISA's uses special steels with high strength and good corrosion resistance to produce the gun frame, barrel and bearing parts. The steel is heat treated to increase hardness and wear resistance. Each batch of raw materials is tested by spectroscopy and ultrasonic methods to ensure consistent quality. The frame is machined from steel or aluminum alloy using CNC machines, ensuring micron accuracy. The barrel is drilled using special technology to achieve absolute concentricity. Small components such as the firing pin, trigger, and hammer are machined from alloy steel using small CNC machines to achieve precise dimensions. 
The parts are assembled to test the ability to operate and compatibility. The movement of the slide mechanism, the operation of the trigger, and the safety components are tested. Necessary parts are adjusted to ensure smooth operation. Metal parts are coated with anti-rust coatings, such as black oxide or chrome plating, to protect against corrosion. Grips and polymer parts are reinforced with fiberglass for durability. Logos, serial numbers, and specifications are laser engraved to ensure clarity and accuracy. Each pistol is test fired a number of rounds to test accuracy, power, and continuous operation. Safety systems, such as trigger locks and slide locks, are evaluated to ensure that there are no potential faults. The pistol is placed in a protective case, along with accessories such as a cleaning brush, instruction manual, and magazine. The packaging is printed with the serial number, information about the gun, and a quality assurance stamp. Through a strict and modern production process, Tesis has created pistols of high quality and reliability, meeting the needs of the armed forces and the civilian market. Some of Tissaw's prominent pistol lines include Zagana, Fatty, and PX9. Metra Group is one of the world's leading manufacturers of weapons and ammunition, famous for the high quality and reliability of its products. In particular, the Alaska 47 magazine produced by Matra is always highly appreciated by experts. To better understand the production process of this magazine, let's go into each stage. Below is a detailed process of how Matra Group produces the Alaska 47 magazine, one of the most important accessories of this assault rifle. Matra uses special steel with high durability and good corrosion resistance to ensure the life of the magazine. Spring made of stainless steel with high elasticity to ensure smooth and accurate loading. Other materials, including engineering plastics, anti-corrosion paint, are carefully selected to ensure the overall quality of the product. Steel or polymer sheets are cut and molded to create the basic shape of the magazine. The case is bent and the joints are welded using laser welding technology to ensure strength and tightness. The spring is made from elastic steel, rolled into a standard shape, then heated at high temperatures and cooled rapidly to increase strength and elasticity. Follower machined from polymer or metal, ensuring smooth sliding when loading. Steel magazines are coated with anti-rust paint or phosphate plating to increase durability in humid environments or extreme temperatures. With polymer magazines, the surface is treated to resist wear and increase grip. The spring is placed inside the magazine shell, ensuring uniform thrust from bottom to top. The follower is attached to the top of the spring, ensuring flexible movement during use. The magazine base is attached and fixed with a pin, making it easy to disassemble and clean. Each assembled magazine is thoroughly tested for size, accuracy, durability and operability. Matra uses sensors and automated machinery to measure dimensions, check welds, and the accuracy of each component. Test spring strength. The ability to withstand force of the magazine when subjected to strong impacts or shocks. Magazines are tested on Alaska 47 guns to ensure smooth operation, no jamming or loss of thrust. Matra uses modern, highly automated production machinery and equipment, ensuring accuracy and efficiency in the production process. Each stage of production is strictly quality controlled, ensuring the output product meets the highest standards. Matra only uses the best quality materials, provided by reputable suppliers. Through a strict and modern production process, Matra Group has created Alaska 47 magazines with high quality and reliability, meeting the needs of armed forces around the world. Trust Cartridges is one of the world's leading manufacturers of ammunition, renowned for its superior quality and reliability. Established in 1985, the company has built its reputation on a commitment to technological innovation 
and exceptional attention to detail in manufacturing. Trust operates in three main areas, manufacturing ammunition for hunting, shooting sports, and personal defense, providing specialized ammunition for military forces and security organizations worldwide, supporting organizations in the development and testing of new ammunition technologies. Trust Cartridges owns manufacturing facilities equipped with the most advanced technology, ensuring high precision at every stage. A team of engineers and experts constantly research and develop new types of ammunition, improving performance and safety. Let's learn about Trust Cartridges' high quality and reliable ammunition production process through the following stages. 1. Research and Development determine standards for accuracy, strength, and reliability based on customer or market requirements. Check the quality of raw materials such as copper, lead, and gunpowder to ensure they meet strict standards. 2. Raw material preparation copper and zinc used to produce bullet casings. Copper is refined and drawn into thin sheets, then cut into blanks to shape the bullet casing carefully selected, high purity ensuring the bullet casing is durable and can withstand great pressure. Lead, used to make the bullet core, refined and shaped into lead pellets with standard sizes. Gunpowder, manufactured or purchased from reliable suppliers, then tested for stability and performance. 3. Shell manufacturing. Copper blanks are drawn into tube shape through casting and rolling. The shell casings are machined to exact dimensions. The holes for the detonator are drilled and cleaned. Each shell is inspected by machine or by hand to ensure it is free of defects. 4. Bullet Production Lead is molded into cones or cylinders. The bullets are plated with copper or other alloys to improve aerodynamics and reduce wear. Each bullet is weighed to ensure uniform weight. 5. Assembly the exact amount of gunpowder is measured and loaded into each shell. The bullet is securely fastened to the shell, ensuring a precise fit to ensure performance. The primer is inserted into the bottom of the shell. This is the part that activates the gunpowder when fired. 6. Quality Control Each bullet passes through an automated inspection system using sensors and cameras to detect defects. A batch of bullets is randomly selected for test firing on the range, measuring accuracy, power, and overall performance. Only batches that meet the highest standards are packaged for shipment. 7. Packaging and Shipping Ammunition is packed in shockproof boxes or crates for protection during transportation. Each shipment has a barcode, information about the ammunition type, production date, and batch number for traceability. Why Trust Cartridges is superior. From raw materials to final products, all comply with strict control standards. The company's ammunition performs stably in harsh weather conditions, from low temperatures to humid environments. Through a strict and modern production process, Trust Cartridges has created ammunition products with high quality and reliability meeting the needs of customers both domestically and internationally. The Rotary Forge at Waterfleet Arsenal is a critical piece of equipment in the production of large caliber cannon tubes for the U.S. military. This iconic machine has been in operation since 1976 and has played a vital role in producing thousands of barrels for various weapon systems, including the M109 Paladin self-propelled howitzer, M1 Abrams tank, M777 lightweight howitzer, and AC-130 gunship. The rotary forge is a massive machine that uses heat and pressure to shape a metal billet into a cannon tube. The process involves several steps, including High-quality steel is selected and prepared for forging. The steel is heated to a high temperature to make it malleable. The heated steel is placed in the rotary forge, where it is shaped into a cannon barrel through the application of intense pressure. After forging, the barrel is cooled and excess material is trimmed to achieve the desired dimensions. The barrel undergoes heat treatment to enhance its strength and durability, 
Each barrel is inspected to ensure it meets stringent quality standards. The Rotary Forge at Watervliet Arsenal is currently undergoing a modernization process which will replace the old forge with a new, more capable machine. This modernization will increase the capacity and quality of the forge, allowing it to produce longer and more capable artillery and cannon systems. The Rotary Forge at Watervliet Arsenal is a testament to the importance of American manufacturing and the U.S. Army's commitment to providing its soldiers with the best possible equipment.